Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted on Facebook this morning that they needed a gear, but they just need it for decoration. They don't need it to actually work. I drew this one right here on a gear generator program that I have, and you could actually make it where the gears work. But if you just need it for um, looks, I drew this one in about two minutes with the polygon tool. Now, I've made a video like this, but it's been a while, and I'm going to change it up here a little bit. So we've got 12 gears on this side, on this gear, so I'm going to grab my polygon tool, and I'm going to change my 12-sided to polygon. I'm going to hold down my control button so I'll get a perfectly one. Then at 15 degrees is what it is, so I'm going to rotate it so I have a flat side. Then I'm going to take my shape tool, and I'm going to select them all, and I'm going to add nodes. I think I'm going to go ahead and add some more. And one thing cool about the polygon tool is once you add a node, all the nodes are going to change. So let's get these three nodes and let's just bring them straight up. And see what's happening? It's changing all of our nodes. Now let's um, do like that and do like that. And you could actually get rid of this. Let's see if we can get rid of both those and kind of get a rounded. That worked perfect. So there's you a gear. And then you could change it. Uh, press P and put it in the center of the page. Draw your center hole, whatever dimension you want, holding down your control button and hit P. And there in about a minute, you have a gear. If it's just for looks, this will not. Well, it could. It would take a lot of work to get it to actually chime in. These three gears were actually drawn with a gear generator and they would mesh together if you did it in the program right. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.